presidential promise to put the law before a family. I said I'd abide by the jury decision. And I will do that, and I will not pardon him. This Justin! Joe pardons Hunter. From what, I wonder? Good evening, and welcome to our Presidential Pardon Special Report. Joe Biden, who stole office in 2020, has just announced that he will pardon his son, Hunter Biden, from any crimes or potential crimes. With less than two months left in office, we're not going to be able to get much more juice out of the Biden tree, so let's enjoy this one while we can. We all know that Hunter is as innocent as his father when it comes to the rule of law. So why the pardon? What is he protecting him from? protecting himself from? What don't they want you to know? And why have Joe and the Democrats repeatedly said that Hunter would not be pardoned, only for them to do the opposite of what they said? Side note, they've never done that before. All that and more coming up tonight. Now let's get into it like Hunter getting into a fresh bag of white powder. Following a federal investigation into Hunter, there were repeated claims that Joe would not pardon Hunter. To which nefarious conservatives were saying that Joe is a liar. You know by now that when they call us liars, it's extremely dangerous for our democracy. Extremely dangerous to our democracy. That's what we tell you every time and it just seems to get more true. Now let's take a look at Joe and the Democrats claiming that Hunter would not be pardoned, which the conservatives have grossly taken out of context to claim that they've said that Hunter would not be pardoned. But let me ask you, will you accept the jury's outcome, their verdict, no matter what it is? Yes. And have you ruled out a pardon for your son? Yes. And this. He is not pardoning um, his son. He certainly is not. Has ruled out pardoning his son. Major commitment from the president, accepting the outcome of the trial and also pledging not to pardon his son. So the challenge for him is really to continue to live up to his values. All out of context so far. The president said he won't touch it. He's not, he said he's not going to pardon his son. Well, moving on. Oh, sh there's more. So the president would not uh, pardon or commute the sentence for his son, Hunter. Uh, I just want to make sure that that is not going to change over the next six months. The president's it's saying still, he would not. It's still, it's still a no. It's still a no. It will always be a no. It's still a no. It will be a no. It, it is a no. Look for that demon as one of the main characters in the next Joker movie. Nonetheless, you might be thinking that Joe and the Democrats have lied after some video evidence which is probably just cheap fakes. Remember when we tried that one on you? Seems to support that Biden had said he wouldn't pardon his son and lied about it. Well, we have breaking news that will clarify everything. The truth of the matter is that Joe was talking about his dead son, Bo, when he was saying he wouldn't pardon his son and he was not talking about Hunter, obviously. Therefore, Joe is as honest as I am. This Justin! No one is above the law, says a tweet from Joe Biden. Might be tasteful to delete that one. Let's check in with a Biden supporter to see what they think about all this. This is a sad time. This is a very sad time. Ah, don't be sad, fella. Pull yourself up by the tucket strap and get back out there and loiter way too close to playgrounds. Because the only thing Hunter is guilty of is being a really good businessman. Accordingly, as you can see in this footage of Hunter conducting business, yes, Hunter is guilty of being one hell of an artist. He's also guilty of being an expert in the energy business with Burisma, despite having no education or knowledge of the energy business. And that's impressive. And just for the hell of it, we'll remind you that Burisma is a Ukrainian business. We all love us some Ukraine, right? You might also recall that when Burisma was being investigated by Ukrainian authorities, Joe, who is the father of Burisma energy consultant Hunter, got the investigation shut down by saying this. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was about six hours. I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Hunter is also guilty of basically being a computer programmer with how prolific he is on a laptop. Laptop from Hell documents 191 sex crimes, 128 drug crimes, and 140 business crimes. I don't think this is the same Hunter Biden. This Justin! We still don't know where all those bags of white powder at the White House came from. But the point is, is Hunter Biden guilty? Guilty of being a good businessman, yes. 
guilty of anything else? Donald Trump is a convicted felon, guilty on 34 counts of misdemeanors being turned into felonies through the law practice of magic, and also being passed the statute of limitations. So you tell me if Hunter Biden is guilty or not. In the ever-evolving world of misinformation, extremely dangerous to our democracy, you might hear rumors that Joe Biden had above-the-law business involvement with his son Hunter. And just know that if Hunter was able to be prosecuted for it, if RICO charges were brought against Hunter, then Joe would be found just as guilty as Hunter. And this is all above board because according to Joe, no one is above the law. No one is above the law. That's right, Nancy. The stock market is just very easy to get right all the time. Anything else from you, Joe? I'm calling for a constitutional amendment called No One Is Above The Law Amendment. Each, each of us is equal before the law. No one, no one is above the law. The American principle that no one is above the law was reaffirmed. The justice system should be respected and we should never allow anyone to tear it down. Those responsible can be held accountable. In my administration, no one, in my no one is above the law. My life. This is getting hard to work with, guys. That's it for tonight's special presidential pardon report. No one is above the law, according to the administration that has a track record of making it illegal to stop crime and making it illegal to do illegal things. Enjoy Christmas shoplifting in California this year or coming into America however you'd like, just cause you want to. It's a shame that Trump will be taking office and being all above the law by enforcing the rule of law. Very dark times ahead. Good night. What's up, my friends? There is a mega Black Friday sale going on with one of the best companies on the planet, Bond Charge. The time has never been better to bring the power of infrared saunas into your life with a Bond Charge infrared sauna blanket. There's two things about me you should know. One is I want to feel my best. I want to have great energy and any pain or obstacle in my way, I want to obliterate as fast as possible. And the infrared sauna blanket helps me do that. And the second thing about me is I like things that are fast, convenient, convenient and affordable. And the Bond Charge Infrared Sauna Blanket helps me with that too. I get the convenience of an infrared sauna in my own home. I don't have to waste time driving anywhere. And it is the most affordable, efficient sauna system in the market. And Bond Charge has their Black Friday sale going on now where you can save 25% off all Bond Charge products. Just go to bondcharge.com JP and use the Black Friday discount code JP25. You should also know all Bond Charge products are HSA, FSA eligible, giving you up to a 40% tax-free savings.